Now, why were you so concerned about a 13-year-old girl? Ever wondered what happens when the cameras stop rolling and the spotlight fades? Today, we're diving into the untold story of a TV legend, Chris Hansen, beyond the infamous To Catch a Predator. From courtroom dramas to unexpected comebacks, we're peeling back the layers of scandal, success, and everything in between. When To Catch a Predator hit the airwaves, it wasn't just another TV show. It was a cultural phenomenon. Imagine a world where the internet's dark corners were just beginning to get the spotlight, and this show shone the brightest light on them. Chris Hansen became more than a host. He turned into a household name, synonymous with justice in the digital age. His calm demeanor and stern approach to confronting predators caught the nation's attention. Viewers were glued to their screens, witnessing real-time takedowns of online predators. The show's unique method of blending investigative journalism with the urgency of law enforcement actions captivated millions, making it a staple of early 2000s television and significantly boosting Chris's career. However, not all was smooth sailing. With fame came scrutiny, and To Catch a Predator found itself in hot water. Critics started questioning the show's methods, labeling them as entrapment. They argued that the line between catching criminals and creating a spectacle was getting blurred. This debate reached a tipping point when a legal notice hit the show like a ton of bricks, challenging its very foundation and ethics. Amidst this turmoil, a significant legal battle emerged, casting a shadow over the show's future. Mara Bartel, a former investigative producer with a two-decade tenure at NBC, filed a lawsuit against the network. She claimed a breach of contract, alleging she was unfairly dismissed with years left on her agreement. This lawsuit peeled back the curtain on the internal struggles within NBC, revealing tensions and raising questions about the network's commitment to its staff and the ethical considerations of its programming. The legal battles and controversies surrounding the show marked a turning point, prompting a re-evaluation of how such operations were conducted and the ethical implications of blending entertainment with law enforcement. After To Catch a Predator wrapped up, Chris Hansen didn't just vanish into thin air, he kept moving, adapting to the changing media landscape. He launched Hansen vs. Predator, a spiritual successor to TC App, aiming to keep the conversation on internet safety alive. This new venture sought to recapture the essence of what made TCAP a hit, with Chris once again at the forefront of confronting online predators. The reception was mixed. Loyal fans were thrilled to see Hansen back in action, but capturing the magic of the original series proved challenging. Beyond TV, Chris ventured into digital platforms, trying to connect with a new generation of viewers. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Chris faced personal and professional hurdles, from legal issues to financial troubles, showing that life after TCAP was anything but predictable. To catch a predator, left an indelible mark on society and the media. It wasn't just a show, it was a wake-up call about the dangers lurking online. Chris Hansen, with his stern approach and commitment to justice, became an iconic figure in this fight against internet predators. Today, his legacy is a complex tapestry of achievements and controversies. Despite the debates and legal battles, the show's impact on internet safety and predator awareness is undeniable. It sparked conversations, led to legislative changes, and made people think twice about online interactions. Chris Hansen's journey from a celebrated journalist to navigating the stormy waters of fame and controversy is a tale of resilience. His work on To Catch a Predator changed the game showing us the dark side of the internet and the power of media to shine a light on it. As the world of television and online media continues to evolve, the relevance of shows like TCAP is a hot topic. Got thoughts on Chris Hansen's legacy or how to catch a predator? Impacted the conversation on internet safety? Drop your opinions in the comments below. If you find this dive into the untold stories behind the screen interesting, hit that like button, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Check out our playlist for more stories about famous personalities and their journeys through fame and controversy. Your next video adventure starts here.